Okay, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you uh, about stock SPCB symbol and um, I'll just copy the stock and I'll paste it in Google and write stock besides and I have some information here on this side on right hand side I have some information and then I have on left hand side from Google so let's go through together and uh, the name of the stock is Supercom company and um, uh, the last sale or if I want to buy the stock right now I have to pay 1.08 US dollars uh, which is the currency uh, right now per stock I'll just copy that paste that and um, then if I uh, want to see when was it founded it's in 1988 okay or uh, and um, the sector I will explain you sector later on in the video right now I'm just interested in these four ratios um, uh, for ratios, I like website macro trends. I'll just type that and you can see the website here. You click on price ratio, then you click on price book ratio and you type in the or paste in the um, the symbol. But make sure that the company name Supercom should be cited because there are some symbols that ha are same for two companies or three companies. So you might get difficulty. I'll click that. And... Um, then what I'll get is I'm looking at price book ratio, but it doesn't have the information here. It just tells me that as at 28 June 2019, it's 0.47. So I don't have the previous information because it might be uh, less uh, or more than that before. So 0.47 is means that uh, it's very undervalued stock. So it's very cheap right now. So the book value is more than the price on the market. So it's very cheap to buy. It's undervalued like it's like a bargain if somebody buys right now so but i would be more interested to see the previous years as well but i can just say 0.47 okay and then i'll go to debt equity ratio i'll go to other ratios and then i have debt equity uh, sorry let's go to current ratio i'll go to current ratio and current ratio should be 1.5 or above that for it to have good margin of safety right now uh in 2000 it has the values of 2018 september and not after that so um i need to know after that as well so it just have up till 2018 and um so it was 2.44 uh in 2018 uh, september but um so 2.44 is way above 1.5 which is really good but i need to know about 2019 so that's like a year uh data is missing so i need to figure out that but i'll just go through with it and 1.5 it should be above 1.5 for having a good margin of safety which it is then if i just go back and see the consistency of it being uh, more than 1.55 here it's 1.49 in 2013 december just once and it's just one point down so it's okay and then i'll just and if I have a look before 2013 March it was it's going down and it's way down 0.24 which means that um, it's 0.17 here which is that in the liabilities are more than the assets uh, if it's below one then it means that the liabilities are more than the assets in 2012 December assets and liabilities are zero zero billion you can have a look but when you go beyond that, the liabilities are 0.01 billion, asset is 0 billion, so liabilities increase. So in 2011 and 2012, 2010, 9, up till like its previous history uh, from 2008 up till 2012 is very bad in terms of uh, current ratio. It's very risky to invest here, but uh, then it improved and right now it's 2.44. So, uh, but it does. It, the 2019 data is missing altogether, so you need to be careful about that. If I click on debt equity ratio, it should be 0.5 or below that for it to be have a good margin of safety. So, uh, debt to equity ratio means that uh, how much the company is operating on debt and how much it is operating on equity. So that ratio. So 0.15 is really um, good margin of safety. It should be 0.5 or less than that. If I go back, it's 0 0.01 and it hasn't been uh, 0.5 or less than that or more than that. 
so which means that it's operating very good on its equity rather than uh, it's not relying on its um, it's not really relying on its um, debt long-term debt which is really good and if I check return on equity uh, which means how much return I'm getting when somebody has invested um, it seems to be missing data again the data is missing for previous years uh, it says as at 20, 30th uh, September 2018 it was 4.3 percent it should be 8 percent or more than that for it to be good margin of safety return on equity but it's very low compared to that and we don't have the proper data we don't have any data previous of previous years as well as one year data is missing from 2018 September so recent data so I need to look there but still I'll go through the stock just to explain the concept so I'm just going through um, so it has a lot of missing things if I go to dividend um, let's see if it pays any dividend because the companies that pay dividend shows good financial reflects good financial position of the company because uh, it means they have extra cash um, made that they can pay off their shareholders but if I have a look here it doesn't have any dividend yield so it means it, it is not paying any dividend uh, to its uh, shareholders so financially it might not be that good that it can pay the dividends cash then if I want to see the market cap um, I, I can see here in the market cap this is just information from Google I can see the market cap is uh, 16.15 million so this company is not very big because it's not in billions it's like maybe medium-sized company it's in millions so it's not very big company and um, then I can just have a look at the patents I'll just go to Gestia patents that's my favorite one uh, just type in Google and you just paste the I'll just paste the exact um, name so that um, okay that's fine enter I'm interested only in um, I'm interested only in the applicant and the assignee because those are people who have the full rights of the patent so this is the applicant and that's this is the assignee so this means that they have full rights I'm not interested in inventor because inventor is a, a person who invented but they don't have the full rights so I'm looking at the person who has the full rights which is applicant or assignee so in 2003 they have a patent filed in 1995 they have a patent then in 1995 again they have a patent 1997 so total four patents they have and the most recent one was in 2003 which means that after that they don't have any patents filed maybe they are not innovating anymore or because if they have recent patents they don't have patents uh, in 2018 16 17 or 19 so if they don't have recent patents it means they might be way behind their industry or they might not be uh, doing good because patents act as a moat and it acts as a competitive edge so uh, this is not very good for the farm so um, they have patents but they are very old ones so I'm, I'm looking at new ones they might be doing good when they started because they started in 1988 and they have patent in 1995 and you know 1997 mo mostly in 1990s and then in 2003 so now they might not be doing good because it's been like um, like over 10 years or 14 years since they have a patent so it means they might not be doing good right now so there are other factors as well so you need to consider that and uh, let's look at the uh, salary of the executives which which is very important of the firm I go I use fi uh, Yahoo Finance for that I'll click that I click on the search bar and I'll get that SPCBS I go to profile and so I was talking about the sector uh, um, you can just have a look from Yahoo Finance the sector is industrials I need to change that industrials and it's security and protection services industry full-time employees you can have a look so it's not very big firm it's like 215 full-time employees and uh, you can see the key executives here the names you can search them in LinkedIn or whatever and you can see the pays listed so this is very good that they have shown pays of every executive because this um, gives transparency and it builds trust that's very important as well and uh, that's really good and uh, then um, I'll just go to uh, indeed 
um, I'll just go type here. Um, I'll just search this and stock and I'll click this one and I'll type it in, in indeed reviews to check what employees have to say about it. So it might be true, it might not be true, but still it gives you a perspective of people who are working here, uh, what they feel like. So um, it's 3.5 stars, which is not very bad. Uh, it's like average uh, and it's not very bad. So um, there are 10 reviews, which is very little to tell about the firm. Um, and so that's not very bad. And if I just go to Glassdoor and I just type in reviews and I just click that and I can see that um, there are just two reviews. So I don't know what to say about that it's not a lot so it's like 3.8 which is very good um so 3.8 it it is very good reviews but the reviews are only two so you know you need to be careful about that as well and um that's all i